Mr. Trump, will you testify? Mr. Trump, have your lawyers advised you not to testify? Mr. Trump, do you want to testify? Mr. Trump, are you afraid to testify? These were the questions that Donald Trump was asking as he arrived in court for his criminal trial as Michael Cohen is still on the stand on cross-examination as we've heard from multiple sources inside the courtroom, including from Katie Fang and others. We're getting reporting that the jury is having a tough time staying alert for this cross-examination of Michael Cohen by Todd Blanche. Jurors are rubbing their eyes and trying to stay in their seats and shifting their seats. I don't blame them. Once again, Todd Blanche, Donald Trump's lawyer, has lost the plot here. With cross-examination, you get in and out, dragging it out for hours and hours doesn't make any sense at all. More on that in just uh, a moment. I want to share with you, though, what Donald Trump said when he walked into court today. Again, very unhinged, very strange arrival. Donald Trump shows up and he claims that he's supposed to be in a different state this morning, which is not true. I Is the state a state of uh, unconsciousness, a state of sleep? What state is he referring to? Here, play this clip. As you know, I was supposed to be in a very different state this morning, and the judge actually decided to call us early, and yet it looks like we're going to have a very big gap between days, and it's going to be determined right now in court. But we're here about an hour early today. I was supposed to be making a speech for political purposes. I'm not allowed to uh, have anything to do with politics because I'm sitting in a very freezing cold uh, courtroom for the last four weeks. It's very unfair. Then Donald Trump and what he's been continuing to do as he arrives in court, and these things all just look like uh, admissions at this point. Uh, Donald Trump says that... Uh, He's got the most perfect NDAs, referring to the NDA that was entered by Michael Cohen for him, for which Cohen was reimbursed. Trump goes, I've got the most perfect NDAs. Um, let me show this to you. You know, they go through all this stuff and there was nothing done wrong. NDAs are perfect. And by the way, legal expenses, you know, we paid a legal expense. You know what it's locked down to the book says? A legal expense. Again, it's not marked down as construction. It's not marked down as sheetrock and cinder block. It's marked down as legal expense. You have a lawyer. You pay him a legal expense. And it's covered in the book as legal expense. I had nothing to do with it. The bookkeeper put it down as a legal expense. This is why I'm here, because we called it a legal expense. And payment to a lawyer. Yeah, this case isn't about whether your NDA is perfect or not. By the way, they're they're not perfect. That um, they've actually been declared to be uh, improper and not workable. Um, and Stormy Daniels was eventually able to speak, but by making comments like that, you are making uh, admissions by saying that there was a deal for which Michael Cohen was reimbursed, but uh, to each their own. Here, uh, Donald Trump, uh, who previously said that. He doesn't know who Alan Dershowitz even is. He says, Alan Dershowitz is now standing behind me. Here, play this clip. Alan Dershowitz, who I think is standing right behind me. We have many people from Congress, senators, congressmen. We've had them here all week. And I say, don't come. And Just so I can give you some recall, here is, uh, this was, was this last week, week and a half ago, where Donald Trump said that, uh, uh, he doesn't even, I don't even know Alan Dershowitz. He's not even my friend. Oh, so just this random person just shows up with you at court. By the way, Dershowitz is Trump's lawyer, or was Trump's lawyer. So, you know, Dershowitz also admitted to uh, getting massages at Epstein's house, but says that his boxers were on. So these are the people who Trump hangs with. Here's Here that is. Play this clip. Alan Dershowitz, Trump trial will go down in history as a stupendous legal catastrophe. That's the great Alan Dershowitz. Now, I'm not a friend of Alan Dershowitz. I don't know him well, but this is what he writes. This is what- Then Donald Trump repeats that lie does he, that he does over and over again. 
uh, in addition to whining about how freezing the courthouse is and how cold he is. He then says that the outside of the courthouse, it looks like Fort Knox. It's so locked down, it's like Fort Knox. Let me play this to you, but again, it's just utterly, like, utterly ridiculously false. Like, anybody can pretty much get right to the courthouse. Trump just has no supporters at the courthouse. Here, play this clip. And by the way, outside looks like it's supposed to be Fort Knox. There are more police than I've ever seen anywhere. Because they don't want to have anybody come down. There's not a civilian within three blocks of the courthouse. By the way, who is at the courthouse today? There is some representation by the Midas Mighty there. Shout out uh, to the Midas Mighty who who showed up today. So we did have some Midas Mighty who were able to show up today. Um, so also George Conway, who's been in the courtroom, says... Look, this is an amazing lie, even for Trump. There's virtually complete freedom of movement around the courthouse. There was this guy here who shows up um, as Gray Oblesk writes. There's one Trump supporter featured today. Looked like he may have um, uh, been a homeless person um, who could have been slipped five dollars to wear a Trump hat and say a couple of words of support. You know, we previously had Michael Popak from the Midas Touch Network show, go to the courthouse when Trump makes statements like this to show you that it's not on complete lockdown or lockdown at all. And anybody can pretty much go right up there. Just tiny groups of people at most. This is what Popak reported on, just so you have the facts. Michael Popak reporting from the courthouse. I wanted to spell all the rumors really generated by Donald Trump that his supporters are somehow being blocked and banned from coming down here. The reason there are no supporters, I'm gonna show you the video feed coming up in a second, is because they don't wanna come down and support them. There is no barriers, there's no barricades. True, you can't just walk down Center Street. Um, That's been blocked off, but the parallel street to Center Street, Lafayette, is fully open. It leads you right to the courthouse. Let's test this theory that Donald Trump has that all of his supporters would be here if it only was for the fact that there wasn't so many blockades. All right, none of that is true. Here is an entirely open park. I got to it through Lafayette, right across from the New York Family Courthouse. This is the total number of people, both red and blue, <laughs> that are interested in this trial, right? We are directly across from the courthouse. As you can see, a completely empty park. And and look, as you know by now, Donald Trump lies about crowds. This is like one of his go-to lies. He lies about everything. Um, this is one of his go-to lies. Remember, remember, we should go back and look at the video we loaded earlier today about um, uh, Trump's statement that there was 100,000, or now he goes 107,000 people uh, in Wildwood, New Jersey. And remember how Trump's campaign spokespeople were saying, oh, there's 80,000 to 100,000 people at Trump's speech in Wildwood. And then, as I said right away, I said, look, there is a MAGA mayor in Wildwood, this guy, Ernest Triano, who's under indictment for health care fraud. And I said, they're just they're, they're, he's working with Trump to come up with, with fake numbers. That's all Trump does. Then the Associated Press repeated the MAGA Wildwood mayor's numbers. And I'm like, what are you, there's, we, we could just use our own uh, objective view and know that there's maybe 5,000 people here. So now that the disinformation was already out there, what, what the Wildwood uh, community is saying is, is that, you know, and they had to admit it because the economic boom they claim happened didn't happen. So people were pissed. Anyway, they were saying that there were 80,000 people in the city of Wildwood that day near the boardwalk, not at the speech, just 80,000 people in general. And that's where they base their estimate on, not, not how many people actually attended the speech. All right, well, by that metric, when President Biden spoke at Morehouse in Atlanta, Georgia, there were millions of people in attendance because we could just look at the population of Atlanta or should we look at the population of Georgia? I mean, again, so insane. Donald Trump fell asleep this morning, um, fast asleep right now, apparently. Norm Eisen's in the courtroom. Donald Trump slouched over, um, sleeping once again. And then we're on cross-examination of Michael Cohen. And during the cross-examination of Michael Cohen, what Trump's lawyer is trying to make the jury believe 
is that the $420,000 reimbursement payment to Michael Cohen was for other things, that the $420,000 were for maybe other legal services, but not the reimbursement for the hush money payments and um, you know, and that's where they're losing the jury. I mean, it's, you know, like Michael Cohen is admitting where he was wrong. You know, that moment that everyone was talking about on Friday on corporate media. I mean, it's like a footnote now in the cross exam on redirect. It'll be cleaned up a little bit. But, you know, as I said, you want to say that Blanche scored some points that a, a conversation can be about two topics and not just one topic, I, I guess. But I, that, that's cross exam. Cohen seems to be holding his own, and uh, the jury seems to be being very bored by this cross-exam at this point, which is not a good sign for the defense. But look, we'll see. We'll keep you posted as um, we learn more here. Um, but thanks for watching our coverage. We appreciate you so much. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Go ahead, subscribe. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.